with another survival style food. Now, last time I done Ready Wise and I actually made a meal from the bucket and it was something that I wanted to try. This time I would like to present you all with all of the meals that are in here and allow you to choose something that I will try in the next video with Augustin Farms. Uh, Augustin, Augustin Farms, food storage emergencies, everyday meals, food storage emergencies. It has a 25 year shelf life. Now, just to go ahead and set the fact straight, that is if you don't open the bucket. This is 92 servings, 21,170 total calories. This was purchased off of Amazon and I have been looking into emergency food supplies because I have three children. I live in the city and I don't have a lot of space. And just like I had said, this is 92 servings in a bucket this big. Now the bucket is a little bit heavy and I would love to try something, but for authenticity, I want to be able to try it with you guys and show you what you want to see rather than to just pick my favorite, which is stroganoff. It's got stroganoff in it. It also has Italiano marinara pasta, creamy stroganoff, fettuccine alfredo, creamy chicken flavored rice, macaroni and cheese, cheesy broccoli rice, corn chowder, creamy potato soup, chicken flavored noodle soup, hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup, and chocolate pudding. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And I opened it before off camera. Here we have the creamy stroganoff because that's the one I was going to make. And then I decided I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe everybody doesn't have the, the want for, for beef stroganoff like I have. But again, we have come across someone as an Augustine Farms the same way Ready Wise did. And it maybe it is just me growing up the way that I did, assuming that stroganoff is supposed to have beef in it. This is just creamy stroganoff. Egg noodles, um, we got non-fat milk culture, mushrooms, onion powder, modified foods, red wine flavor, sauteed mushroom stock, soybean oil, but I'm not seeing any meat. There's no meat in this. There's the creamy stroganoff. It is four servings with a serving size as a half of a cup. Here we have creamy chicken flavored rice. This has got some weight to it. Also says it's eight servings with one third of a cup at 240 calories. This one is 330 calories of stroganoff, which seems, I don't know, maybe because of the noodles. Maybe the noodles is what gives that, because it has egg noodles and this is rice, long grain rice. Most of these things I have been reading take 20 to 25 minutes, just, just as this one. Remove oxygen absorber and discard. In saucepan, whisk pouch contents into five cups of boiling water. Reduce heat to medium and continue cooking 20 to 25 minutes or until rice reaches desired level of firmness, stirring frequently. Remove from heat, let stand for five to six minutes to thicken before serving. So these are, this one in general, Augustine, most of these, are, it is a good survival food. If you are in a safe situation where you don't have to hurry and make your food, 25, 30 minutes is a, might seem like a lot to to think of it as a survival meal now just to have this put up and something you eat at home 25 minutes don't matter all right let's see what we got next um a big massive eight serving bag of hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup now we get into another product that is chicken flavored i'm not reading we got carrots, celery slices, chicken soup base, which is listed as corn syrup solids, salt, corn starch, hydrolyzed corn and soy protein, rendered chicken fat, sugar, onion powder. Yeah, there's there's rendered chicken fat. That's the that's the chicken and the hearty vegetable chicken flavor soup at eight servings, 200 calories per serving. All right. Uh, creamy chicken flavored rice. We have two of those, which is 16 servings all together of chicken, creamy chicken rice. And I like, wait, yeah, I like uh, chicken flavor, you know? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I like rice. Corn chowder. Never in my life have I had corn chowder. This is four servings per container at 190 calories per serving. Already we have got 16, 20, 24, 32 servings. Just these few bags is 32 servings, okay? We also have elbow macaroni, and I think there's another one of these. Yep, right there. We have two elbow macaronis, 160 calories per serving at seven and a half. So we have 15 servings of elbow macaroni. But we have a problem. I don't know if there's something. Now you see this one? And you see this one? I don't know if this one has a hole in it or it wasn't vacuum sealed the same way, but in order to go with those, we have I guess we have the one, okay, so this is 15 servings of cheese powder for your elbow macaroni. So we're gonna say it's gonna be 160 calories per serving of elbow macaroni plus a serving of cheese powder comes up to, to 210 at 50 calories per serving. And a serving is two tablespoons or 14 grams of dry powder. This is about two tablespoons prepared. This one, just like anything else, I'm assuming that these noodles are the same way. It's gonna take a little while. And uh, this is uh, something that I really enjoy, but I have not had any uh, out of like any kind of prepared creamy potato soups or anything like that. I've always just made my own. I've never even really ate it out of a can. But we have eight servings of creamy potato soup coming in at 220 calories per one third cup. And I think all of these are based off of a 2,000 calorie diet. So you could probably drag this out if you were stuck inside in the weather and, and had anything, you know, to take care of. We have two, so that's 16 servings of creamy potato soup. And I think potato soup is heavy. It sits with you for a while too. So I like that. We have another chicken flavored is this another chicken flavored soup one chowder oh okay that one right there this one is hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup and this one is just chicken flavored noodle soup and it as well see this one doesn't say anything about any kind of chicken Nope, no, this is chicken flavored, literally just flavoring. At four servings at 190 calories per serving is a half a cup. So this is probably two servings for somebody my size. If you think about it, you add the water to this. Net weight 7.1 ounces. And it says to add in five cups of water. So you've got over seven ounces of water if you weighed it the same way. And now we have Fettuccine Alfredo, which there's a couple in here that I may not be fans of because of my personal tastes. And that's probably going to be the Fettuccine Alfredo at four servings and 300 calories per serving. So these these are any, any of these with noodles are going to be the ones that you want to be ingesting in order to get these, these calories that you need in a survival situation or just an emergency or or you just ain't got food and you don't want to go to the store. You know? Good thing is, is like most of these things, I'm assuming that you can make as much as you want. You can measure it out and make one serving. But then you don't have any kind of ability to reseal the container. So this may be 92 servings, but as you can tell, the individual consumption of this may be a little bit difficult. You may have to eat Italiano marinara pasta four times in one day. It's got 240 calories, four servings per bag. And there is two bags. 
So, eight servings of Italiano marinara pasta. And it's got lasagna noodles. I'm not seeing... I'm smelling something. Look. Uh-oh, we got a hole. This one has a hole in it. That's no good. Right there, look. I knew I smelled it. Look. All right, well, that sucks. So there's a possibility that if we don't put this back in this bucket and store it, you know, what's the, what's the chances of that? Of being able to open this bucket, it says to keep it shut for the 25 years to keep it shelf life sturdy but then you have a, a package in it that's open that is the only difference so far i found between this one and the ready wise and the cooking time uh i'm gonna go ahead and set this back in there at the very bottom so maybe all of the weight of all these others sit in there now i've got the flavoring on me now it's uh it's right there you can't see it but I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in and show you the last two items in this bucket. Now, shipping and handling is always a thing, but it came in a bucket. So I would assume that to have a 25 year shelf life in this bucket, these things are gonna to need to be sealed up pretty well. Look, let me see it. Okay, I can't find any holes in the elbow macaroni but it's not vacuum sealed the way the other pack is. So what I would like to see is consistency. If I'm gonna buy a bunch of these in order to survive, I would like to see consistency between two products that are in the same bucket. I'm not down in these products because I haven't tried them. I'm just going based off of the packaging. In this very, very sturdy bucket, everything would stay good. But right here you have two products, the same thing, same lot, the 10th of October 21, 10th of October 21, all of these are the same, uh, BB010CT51V2, BB010CT51V2, exact same. We have one that seems vacuum sealed and one that does not. So is the air gonna cause damages to this? There's air in this, is that gonna cause problems with these noodles? And nothing else in the whole box is vacuum sealed. So. What leaves us with last is cheesy broccoli rice. This is probably the heaviest at 18.34 ounces. This is eight servings of cheesy broccoli rice. And the best buy date on this one is the 7th of September, 2046. I don't think any of the other ones say that. Only one product that I can see, but it, these may all have been uh, put in at the same time. So one of them being labeled, but that doesn't really help me, you know? So there's a lot of inconsistencies with this bucket that I didn't notice when I originally opened it and, and searched through this. Like I didn't take this thing on a four wheel drive mission through Afghanistan. There's no reason that that bucket, since it has got to me, should have two packages in it that did not get sealed properly or didn't stay sealed during the transportation process. This one has no best buy date. Oh, I'm sorry, right there. Best buy, 10th of October, 46. So you just gotta look. That's just me not looking enough. Best buy, August 26, 46. Okay, so this one, best buy, 1st of October, Best Buy August 21st. So they're not really consistent. This one is September 46. This one is August 46. This one is October 46. So we got a plethora with the, with the different foods that we've gotten here. Uh, we've got a couple issues that I'm not too happy about, but I'm gonna live with it because I'm, I'm looking for the, the perfect product to keep in the home under emergency situations. And oh, we got something else. Okay, this is chocolate pudding. 
This is five servings of chocolate pudding at about a third a cup. 220 calories. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, we also have a best by date on the box or the bucket. It says the 18th of August, 46. I don't think there's any consistency with this bucket. I got different dates. I would, I would like to think that I buy this bucket for pretty good penny. This is not a cheap bucket. I'm gonna put a link in the description below for Amazon so that you can go and look at it yourself. I'm not recommending this bucket. I'm not recommending anything in it until I have tried it. I am unhappy about two of the packages, one seeming to not be sealed and the other one openly leaking in the bucket. This is the most activity that this bucket has seen since I bought it. It has been stored for several months, closed in a pantry that stays a, a very comfortable temperature for any food to survive. So for, for a pretty good chunk of money, I would like to see some consistency when it comes to the lot dates, and I'd like to see some consistency, consistency when it comes to the best buy dates. If they were all close together, I would feel a little bit better about spending a large chunk of money. And hey, look, I'll be honest with you, $5 is a large chunk of money to me. I'm a poor kid. So it's really hard to go out and buy stuff for $100 or better, depending on where the price sits out now, instead of when I bought it. So you guys just let me know. You guys let me know what you would like to see me get out of this Augustine Farms. And, and I mean, this right here, man, you shouldn't have any issues with the packaging in this. This is literally designed to be what it is and the packaging has failed. So without trying anything, without doing any tests, I'm just gonna let it sit right here where it is right now with you guys so that you can tell me exactly what you want me to try or what you would like to see done with some of the items in this lunch and dinner emergency food supply. It even says it right here. Emergency food supply. What happens when you open this emergency food supply and one of those bags is busted and been busted for 25 years? I don't know. You tell me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and if you have, make sure to like and subscribe and tell your friends. Share. Help my channel grow and I'll, I will get more of these products and try to bring you an honest opinion about them. It is a Made in USA. I really, really appreciate that. Hometown USA. But before I've even tried any of the food, I'm extremely disappointed in the packaging. So uh, you guys let me know what you'd like to try. This is Sid Survival Guide. Chuck and Deuces.